This video will demonstrate the sample Q file that comes preloaded with your installation of QPlayer Premium. Our first Q is just a simple sample. There you go. Now we will walk through the edit screen to see how we created that. The text that appears in the Q list is described here in the Q call and Q description. We can change the text color, as you can see later on in the program, and we'll demonstrate that. We have a Q type selection which is a great variety and we will walk through many of these options. Three sound file selections would be, hold, two of them are holdovers from the pro version of QPlayer and one, the independent, is the newer version and is recommended for all existing files. Next you can select your sound file, in this case we have ring.wav. The sound file can be a variety or almost any of the popular sound formats, MP4, AC3, etc. Here you s your file browser appears and you can select the sound file that you wish. Next would be the Q trigger, which is what's going to play that sound. There's a choice of play key or timeline. Play key can be either the enter button or the space bar. Timeline, we'll demonstrate later in this video, will be trigger from an existingly playing cue. Next we would have the sound or the volume levels of the cue, the start and end after a particular period of time. Here we start off at 100%, we don't fade it in at all. If we wanted to fade it in, as we do later on, we can s start off at zero and select the time, in this case say three seconds. And over the course of three seconds, the volume would fade from 0 to 100. Next would be where the queue can appear. We can move the queue up and down in, in the queue file. We can select the speakers that the output goes to. Depending on the device, you can select the device as well. So you can have a variety of options here. Start and stop would be for used for trimming the sound file. If you click the button there, a waveform file of the of the sound bite will appear and you can set the beginning and end times for that file. Our cue action, in this case because it's a sound file, the only option we have is to play it. Later on we will uh, do action cues to affect the playing sound. We can, however, loop the sound. We can set it to autoplay once we select that particular cue line. We will do that also later on. Auto fade we will demonstrate as well from the end of the end of the file. And then we have the queue advance as to when do we move or how do we move to the next queue. And then not not at all at the end of this, at the start of it, at when we start to fade, etc. We will demonstrate all these as we go along. You also have the option to assign a function key to the sound file, and we've done that with our uh, shot our gun later on. We'll we'll see that. You can also have an equalizer and reverb for every cue. If you need to enhance the bass or take out the uh, lows and the mids to make it sound like a uh, telephone uh, conversation, you can do that here. If you want to enrich the sound somewhat with a reverb, that is here as well. Our power options are for additional hardware. If you have a fidget or extend uh, hardware device that you wish to trigger with this sound file, can do that as well. So again, we would just be here, we click <coughs> and we play.